there's another issue out there that isn't getting discussed like it should. We just assumed it would improve this year. Rod Graves, who is the executive director of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, issued a statement overnight regarding the fact that the five coaches hired so far, there isn't a single black coach who's been employed. And here's the quote, the key quote from the statement that was issued by Rod Graves. The disparity in opportunities is mind boggling. It's unfortunate that the performances of coordinators like Eric Bieniemy, Todd Bowles, Byron Leftwich, Leslie Frazier, and Joe Woods may not meet what appears as ever-evolving standards for becoming a black head coach in the NFL. The prospect for second chances is proving to be even more elusive. The same applies to executives like Jerry Reese, Rick Smith, Reggie McKenzie, and others, all capable of providing the vision, leadership, and expertise to lead a championship effort. So, um, you know, uh, they, they, they... they, they keep trying. The league, and the league office is trying. I know they are. They're trying. I know. But, but you've got not 32 monarchies running the NFL teams, but close to it. You can't tell them what to do. You can't force them what to do. And it's the threat of litigation that caused the Rooney Rule to be adopted a generation ago. And it may be the reality of litigation that ultimately gets one of these owners to realize holy crap, we do have to do a better job here. It isn't my way or the highway. I don't get to say and do whatever I want. There are laws out there that require me to afford equal employment opportunity. And the numbers, regardless of any testimony that would come out, right, any secret Donald Sterling tape like that, you're not going to have that. What you're going to have is numbers. And the numbers aren't good for the NFL right now. They weren't good in 2002, Chris, and they're not good now. No, they're not good. You know, and I, I'm, I mean, I, I believe you. I know the NFL. They want change here. They're trying to do their best to force the issue here as well. It's not going to happen overnight. It is unfair. It's screwed over. It's the NFL is deep rooted in its whiteness. Sorry for lack of a better way to say it, but this is a family sport with coaching staffs that are three and four generations in to like my dad coached and my grandfather coached. And that's why I'm here coaching in the NFL. And it's hard to get out of that cycle there. That's the biggest problem. So there's familiarity between a lot of these people in the NFL. Ooh, I know that guy. I've known him since he was little. I'm going to hire him. And that is the issue more than anything, let alone like we've talked about before, Mike, it's hard to get in the building unless you know somebody as is. And that's an issue, too. And you'd have to have some well, money in the bank saved up because you're going to make no money once you get started in the league. That's the key. It's nepotism, which runs rampant among coaching circles in the NFL. So if you have white coaches, you're going to have white children taking the jobs at the lower levels. Who you know, who, who you move in the same circles with, that's part of it. And like you said, those entry-level jobs, you better have somebody else who is financing your lifestyle, paying your rent buying your food because you aren't going to make jack squat nothing why i, I don't understand i understand it's below this minimum wage proving ground it shows how much you love football if you allow yourself to work for free why can't the entry-level jobs provide a living wage so anyone can take them not just the people who otherwise have money it's offensive when you think about it that way. It, it is. It's that's the biggest problem to me, being involved in it as a player, seeing it a little bit in the front office there with the New England Patriots and all that. It is. That's where it's really got to change is that aspect. It's deep rooted into the league and it's gonna be hard to to get it rooted out. Hi, I'm Mike Tarico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.